Welcome to this special Christmas service where we will once again tell the story of the first Christmas and why we needed it so very much. We will tell this story again through the good news of God's love and goodness in the Bible with carols and songs sung by choirs, families and children from our churches here and with acting from puppets like these. We invite you to join in this service however you find most helpful, however you like. Join in the songs or just listen to them. But before we get to the first Christmas, we need to go back a long way before that back to the very beginning because in the beginning was nothing but darkness then God said let there be light and light appeared God made the world and it was very good but everything was spoiled when people believed the terrible lie that God didn't love them. Their hearts broke and they turned away into the darkness. But God didn't turn away from them. He had never stopped loving the world and he never ever would. Even then, at the very beginning, he had a plan to put everything right again.
As the years went on, God gave messages to people we call prophets. The prophet Isaiah said, The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. They lived in a land of shadows, but now light is shining on them. A child will be born to us, a son will be given to us, and he will be our ruler. He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. He will take care of you like a shepherd. He will gather you like lambs together and carry you in his arms. Your days of grief will come to an end. The Lord will be your light for ever. All that Isaiah said came true, but not right away. For more than 600 years, God's people waited. They dreamt about how God would make everything right and bring his light to the world. When the time was right, God sent the angel Gabriel to a town in Galilee named Nazareth. He had a message for a young woman promised in marriage to a man named Joseph. Her name was Mary. The angel came to her and said, Peace be with you. The Lord is with you and has greatly blessed you. Mary was deeply troubled by the angel's message, and she wondered what his words meant. The angel said to her, Don't be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son, 
and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High God. Mary said to the angel, I am a virgin. How then can this be? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and God's power will rest upon you. For this reason, the Holy Child will be called the Son of God. For there is nothing that God cannot do. I serve the Lord, Mary answered. May it happen to me just as you said it would. Then the angel left her. This was how the birth of Jesus Christ took place. His mother Mary was engaged to Joseph, but before they were married, she found out that she was going to have a baby by the Holy Spirit. Joseph was a man who always did what was right, but he did not want to disgrace Mary publicly, so he made plans to break the engagement privately. While he was thinking about this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, descendant of David, do not be afraid to take Mary to be your wife. For it is by the Holy Spirit that she has conceived. She will have a son and you will name him Jesus 
because he will save his people from their sins. Now all this happened in order to make come true what the Lord had said through the prophet Isaiah. A virgin will become pregnant and have a son, and he will be called Emmanuel, which means God is with us. So when Joseph woke up, he married Mary, as the angel of the Lord had told him to. But he did not sleep with her until she gave birth to a son. And Joseph named him Jesus. In those days, Caesar Augustus made a law. It required that a list be made of everyone in the whole Roman world. It was the first time 
a list was made of the people while Quirinius was governor of Syria. Everyone then went to register themselves, each to their own home town. So Joseph went also. He went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to the town of Bethlehem in Judea, the birthplace of King David. Joseph went there because he was a descendant of David. He went to register with Mary, who was engaged to him. She was pregnant, and while they were in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have her baby. She gave birth to her first son, wrapped him in cloths, and laid him in a manger. There was no room for them to stay in the inn. There were some shepherds in that part of the country who were spending the night in the fields, taking care of their flocks of sheep. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terribly afraid, but the angel said to them, Don't be afraid. I am here with good news for you, which will bring great joy to all the people. This very day in David's town, your Saviour was born for you, Christ the Lord. And here is how you will know I am telling you the truth. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great army of heaven's angels appeared with the angel, singing praises to God. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth to those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them, back into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph, and saw the baby lying in the manger. When the shepherds saw Jesus, they told his parents what the angel had said about him. Everyone listened and was surprised, but Mary remembered all these things and thought deeply about them. The shepherds went back, singing praises to God for all they had heard and seen. 
it had been just as the angel had told them. Soon afterwards, some wise men who studied the stars came from the east to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the baby born to be king of the Jews? We saw his star when it came up in the east, and we have come to worship him. When King Herod heard about this, he was very upset, and so was everyone else in Jerusalem. Herod would do anything to make sure that no other king threatened his crown, even a baby. So Herod called the wise men to a secret meeting and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem with these instructions. Go and make a careful search for the child, and when you find him, let me know, so that I too may go and worship him. And so the wise men left, and on their way they saw the same star they had seen in the east. When they saw it, how happy they were! What joy was theirs! It went ahead of them 
until it stopped over the place where the child was. They went into the house, and when they saw the child with his mother Mary, they knelt down and worshipped him. They brought out their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, and presented them to him. And then, after being warned in a dream by God not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. In the beginning, Jesus, the Word, already existed. He was with God, and he was God. From the very beginning, Jesus was with God. Through him, God made all things. Not one thing in all creation was made without him. He was the source of life, and this life brought light for all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has never put it out. He came into the very world he created, but the world didn't recognise him. He came to his own people, and even they rejected him. But to all who believed him and accepted him, he gave the right to become children of God. Now thanks be to God 
for his indescribable gift. So, may the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. And may the blessing of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit be with you this day and always. Amen. Thank you so much for sharing this service with us. May we wish you a very, very happy Christmas. Christmas bells, Christmas bells, right before the day. He came down to us for us in Mary's arms.